Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing grappling arts. Every grappling art has some type of a flaw and now we are working towards them and making them better. Now, uh, personally, when it comes to judo, I've been one of the biggest critics when it comes to the Olympics, the rules, the old training of self-defense, now how it's all just sports, etc. But uh, also, I do practice recently jujitsu, and I see some of the things how it's different. Um, the over reliance on the gi in judo it can also be a problem when it comes to practical things. Now, uh, in MMA itself, the most I believe successful discipline is freestyle and folk style, and that's due to the explosiveness, also the uh, just the exquisite level of grappling Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, it is good there but it has that problem of the guard and um, the lack of takedowns as we saw with someone like Kron Gracie so when it comes to freestyle and uh, folk style personally the problem is I see is the posture and that will play a big role in that one flaw and it can be very dangerous so um, it's their, you know, their bread and butter is the double leg takedown and here you are seeing them completely bent over and just ready to charge on the legs. In judo, however, you learn that the first thing you need to do is unbalance, create the throw and then execute it. And here you see once you can take it out of its context, it can be very bad. Just like judo with the jacket, jujitsu with strikes. Uh, wrestling ultimately has its flaw so you see here the head is completely forward you can be unbalanced uh, easily towards the front um, it's great if you want to charge like I said here for example but uh, anything that changes some type of context it's where we see the flaws here no natural stance is like this when it comes to street fighting it's definitely not the case so I'm sure a lot of you know about the flying knees uh, against the wrestlers in MMA. As successful as it is, this is very detrimental and very dangerous. A lot of you will argue that they require a lot of training to intercept those uh, shots. So these flying knees, uh, they can only be done by a few or you rarely see them. But that's the thing. You only need one to see that it can be very uh, fatal and not only career ending and having a lot of brain damage but also also fatal you saw the Ben Askren fight it ended before it even started so that's just how bad it can be so I know here some of you will say it is illegal but not everyone adheres to sportsmanship respect and courtesy and also when you are in the streets when you are when your wrestling will truly matter uh, one strike to the back of the head or uh, when they cannot get uh, when you cannot get a good grip on the legs uh, and they start striking it's going to be very detrimental so in judo this is actually discussed quite a lot and even by the founder so wrestling and judo actually at least used to share a lot of good amount of throws and the difference is of course the jacket plays a big role but a lot of them at least the ancient masters or the old masters relied on a lot of upper body control before going to the leg so what this would do is first keep your upright posture as you are seeing here he enters for the kata guruma from standing making sure he has that control over the arm pulls unbalances and then goes for the leg the last thing he does is go for the leg not the first thing notice how the bag is fully straight until he goes in uh, fully now unbalancing can also save you from a lot of trouble if you go down to your knees for uh, attacks because of the unbalancing and the control of the upper body is 
where it's at in judo and that's the first thing they teach you is kuzushi uh, the founder said in his book mind over muscle in the chapter randori practice you can pause and read for yourself he talks about uh, bending over and being uh, separated from your natural stance it can be disadvantageous because you are putting your chest and your head at risk for your opponent's strikes and he says to always train in a way that you are relaxed and you are in your natural stance because this way you can attack better and also you can move faster to dodge whatever attack and at the same time your technique will be overall better if you are relaxed and in your natural stance and of course when you fight let's say a street fight or something happens uh, you are in school and a fight broke out if your kids nobody's gonna take some type of stance it's gonna be always your natural stance now judo with the over reliance on the gi i really wish this type of training uh, somehow existed it, it looks great and in the past the history of the gi is very complicated i've done a video about this and uh, there were times where they just wrestled or grappled in their undergarment uh, wearing only the shorts and you can see pictures i've done numerous videos on this topic but uh, let's talk about greco-roman wrestling for a little bit even chael sonnen says that greco can be far more successful in mma than freestyle and it's partly due to the posture because of how upright they are and they can go and control the upper body so that's key in judo granted it's different with the jacket but um, they both share this same principle in greco and in judo uh, hand fighting in greco and you have grip fighting in judo so uh, this is a very important topic a lot of people sometimes tell me when i discuss rules and such uh, they tell me these stuff are meant to kill and therefore the street they're not always for sport you're looking at it from a sports perspective and i agree they're both that but also i i'm very much aware of people need to come back to practice day after day uh, so some type of takedowns they should be banned like kani basami or the scissor takedown and other stuff like uh, spine locks so yes it is mostly for self-defense and this is what they were made for but us with jobs and families we need to make sure we can go back to home safe from practice also not just from the street fight so um, when it comes to this i believe the posture is very important in wrestling they have adjusted not every wrestler looks like when they are wrestling in mma but um, without the proper control of the upper body they can run into a lot of problems especially when they just jab and go in or no setup at all from a straight posture to the legs straight it can be very dangerous so if you have something to add let me know this was shady and thank you for listening